The inspiration for being involved with the Morning Tea is my mum. It's coming up to five years since I lost my mum to renal cell carcinoma, which it was kidney cancer. So uh, last year we'd just gone past the four year anniversary and I really wanted to do something. Initially started doing a virtual morning tea on Facebook and that was really fun. And then last year I thought I wanted to host my own morning tea, but I was really conscious of the fact that I'm a busy mum. I didn't know if I could find the time and energy to host an actual morning tea. And I didn't know a lot of people in the new town where I had just moved. So I set up an online fundraising page on the Biggest Morning Tea website and I linked to that through my blog, through my Facebook page. I basically set the theme, cup of tea, morning tea, on my blog and every day. I, I started by, you know, in the lead up to it, I, I let people know about it and I built the hype. And I had some people who seemed really excited about it. It really felt like we were having an event. Invite everyone in. Make, I mean, I linked my Facebook page into it as well. So I had people who didn't necessarily read my blog were coming over to say hi and to donate. What I did was I also hosted a giveaway on the blog, tea, cup of tea related things. And, um, and then people started sharing it as well. People were letting other people know via their blogs about Greer's morning tea over on Typically Red. My plans for this year are to host another virtual morning tea on my blog. And also, I thought I might try my hand this year at knitting a tea cosy, since I've been doing a bit of knitting this year, and um, maybe offer that as a giveaway as well. So, 